In the gospel reading today, our Lord asks a rather profound question that each one of us might need to consider. What are you willing to give in exchange for your soul? How much is your soul worth to you? Look at the cross and you can see how much your soul is worth to God. He was willing to give his own son in exchange for your soul. Consider how hard Satan is trying to get your soul. How desperately he wants your soul. All the effort that he is putting forth to try and get you to trip up so that you can be with him. Now, how much is your own soul worth to you? You see, we tend to take our souls as really not all that important. Oh, if we look at it from the point of eternity, yeah, of course, we'd much prefer to go to heaven than to hell, but when it comes right down to it, we don't really tend to think our soul is worth a whole lot. But we see that God would completely disagree with that. Sometimes we play rather fast and loose with our souls. We've got the same problem as St. Augustine did. Lord, make me a saint, but not yet. Lord, give me chastity, but not yet. Yeah, we want to make sure that we die in the state of mortal, in the state of grace, but yeah, we want to push it, you know? I mean, how, we don't know exactly when we're going to die, so we don't want to push too hard, but we want to see how close we can get. Or the tragic bumper sticker that says, how much can I get away with and still get to heaven? And how much is that the attitude of so, so many people? If heaven is about loving God, and we want to love him as much as we can, then we need to turn it the other way. How much can I do for God rather than how much can I get away with? You see, where the problem comes in is that we're very, very selfish. And it's that selfishness that's going to get us into all kinds of trouble. <laughs> Gets us into all of the trouble that we get ourselves into. And so if you think about it, your soul is the principle of life. So your life resides in your soul. And your soul has two faculties, a mind and a will. Your mind is known, is made for the truth, and your will is made to love. Selfishness is the opposite of love. And all the lies that Satan tells us are obviously the opposite of truth. And so if we look at it from that way, if we're going to be selfish, if we're going to live a lie, what we're doing is robbing ourselves of life. We're destroying our own soul. And so again, it comes back to that question. How much is your soul actually worth to you? How important is your own soul to you? Because understand, within your own soul resides your personality. Your personhood is in your soul, which means your soul is going to live forever. And wherever your soul goes is where your person goes. You go there, in other words. So this isn't a flippant choice. This isn't a minor choice. This is the most important choice any human being can make in this life. Because one of the lies that Satan is trying to tell people 
is that after you die, then you can change your mind. After you die, then you can repent. Wrong. Once your soul leaves your body, you cannot change your mind ever. If you die in the state of mortal sin, you stay that way. You can't repent at that point. You can't change your mind at that point. Of course, the other lie that's being told today is everyone goes to heaven. So it doesn't matter what you do, you're going to heaven anyway. Jesus never said anything even remote to that. Nor are you going to find it anywhere in Scripture, but it's sure a whole lot easier to believe than the truth. The problem is that your mind is made for the truth. And we can only love in truth. We can only love what we know. And the Lord is truth. And so we're made to know and to love him. So if we see it that way, and that's what it all comes back to. How much is your soul worth to you? The line right before that in the gospel, Jesus said, what does it gain a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul in the process? You can be a multi-billionaire and go to hell. What good were your billions of dollars? They're worthless. So really look at those questions and ask yourself, what is truly important? I mean really important. I ask it of yourself, what's really important to me? But then what's really important with regard to eternity? And look at the price that the Lord paid for your soul. Every one of us needs to look at the cross and say, he did this for me. That's how much my soul is worth to God. So if it's worth that much to God, then that question becomes all the more imperative. How much is your soul worth to you?